Hello guys, it is Ben here from Next Gen Base, and today uh, I'm going to run through about the first 10-15 minutes of Sackboy A Big Adventure. Um, so this is obviously a game all about Sackboy. Um, it's not a Little Big Planet game in name, but it definitely is in feel. Um, I mean, it, it looks lovely to start off with. I've, I've sort of I've gone through the first couple of worlds already. But uh, I'm just going to run through the first sort of 15 minutes or so uh, in here for now. Um, it's kind of introducing you to the world uh, of craft world, not craft work. <laughs> um, you know, there's not going to be any sort of Germans doing techno at any point. At least I hope not. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, you can see already that the detail in uh, in Sackboy is, is massively improved from uh, from Little Big Planet one and two and three. Um, but there is the enemy there called Vex, and you can immediately feel in the uh, in the, the dual sense that the haptic tree, uh, haptic feedback, sorry, um, is is pretty impressive. Like you can feel the the different strength and the vibrations, and when it sort of when you're rotated there, it sort of grows in the controller. Um, so. The topsy turbo. I mean, technically, from what I've seen so far, the game is running very smoothly, very solid, you know, 60 frames. Um, I'm sure if people want, we can do some analysis on that. People seem to like that at the moment. Um, but yeah, there's, there's definitely some really impressive things that go on with the, uh, with the haptics and the, the triggers in this game, so... He is, isn't he? Sackboy is adorable. No. Sackboy basically doing Indiana Jones there. Neck. The dual sense really kind of shook quite a lot there. Look at the little threads coming off him and stuff. It's those little highlights that really um, sort of kind of show quite a lot off of the uh, of the PS5 so far. So this is the first area. And there we go. And we're in. So you can sort of almost double jump, but you kind of run, uh, run in midair a little bit. And that noise is actually coming from the uh, from the dual sense itself. So um, you can feel it when it when they pop open as well. It's quite uh, yeah, it's quite powerful. So there you checkpoints with your little uh, smiley face on the floor. Sackboy can um, jump off there, so so similarly to Astro's Playroom, um, when you run through these little I suppose they are like little fibres. Um, when you run through that, it does actually feel like the controller is is sort of 
moving through something. Um, it's a really weird sensation. And again, it's very hard to, to portray in um, in a video, unfortunately. Another checkpoint. So this um, is kind of like a, you know, you can punch those and they come out of the ground. And you get these little golden bells. And then that's just sort of sat there now. But it looks like that's made of cardboard and foil, which is, uh, you know, again, really key to Sackboy's aesthetic. Uh, right, let's see if we can get up there. So, doo -doo -doo. but um, yeah, what I've played of this so far, it's uh, it's definitely. Can I open that box? No, I've got to go up there. Okay. No. Okay. Oh, sorry, just a few golden bells. Yeah, what I've played of this so far, it's uh, it's definitely, you know, it's not going to be hugely challenging for most people, I don't think. Uh, it's definitely aimed at a younger audience. But, having said that, you know, I've, I've found it completely adorable. And it's just, it's a really cute and little, you know, fun little platform game. Um, which I'm going to, you know, obviously play through quite a bit. Um hopefully for some content but you know also for just for fun because it looks really nice and uh, yeah, let's just go into there get all of those I tell you what the dual sense is legitimately really powerful in terms of its rumble and stuff like I know it's it's one of those things that people are gonna keep going on about but it it really does feel like just different. Um, it just feels really strong. Like when you have um, a moment where something kind of uh, explodes or does you know anything really. It's um, it definitely it definitely feels really strong in the hand. Really um, you know unlike anything that's been there before. I think. I mean it's not. You know, it's not going to be—it's uh, not going to blow your hands off, but it definitely feels a lot stronger than previous controllers have. Um, and when you pick those, um, when you pick those nuts up, um, when you pick these up, so you, it, it, there's definitely resistance in the uh, in the right trigger for sure. Um, and then the left trigger kind of cancels out you having that uh, having picked it up, so you can just drop it basically. I'll pick that up, a little uh, piñata. But everything about this game just really fits, you know, fits in with the uh, the aesthetic of, of Little Big Planet and and Sackboy and everything around that. Really, it's just uh, a very very cute, very enjoyable game so far, uh, as I say. Haven't finished it yet. I don't think we've got enough time to get a review out uh, anytime, you know, immediately soon, but hopefully we will have uh, fairly, you know, as soon as we can, we'll have something out. Um, but the controls are basically the same as Little Big Planet, you know, L2 grabs, um, R2 kind of brings you in there so you can do your, your stuff with Sackboy. You can change his facial animations as you did before, so he can be, you know, happy, scared, sad, really sad, really, really sad, or angry. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can't remember what we've got to do with that. Does that work? Nope. Okay. Um, yeah, I legitimately can't remember what you've got to do there, but. Whee! Can I do the rounds? Ah, 
Actually, I wonder if you can grab that thing. Yes, you can. Ah, there we go. I won't say what that looks like because it's, you know, I want this to be a fairly family friendly video. Um, there we go. Where does that go then? Because it must go somewhere. It's Chekhov's chestnut, I'm going to call it. A little, uh, little gag for you theatre theater students out there. No, okay, so I've got to jump in there. Fair enough. Oh, what's this? You know what that is, don't you? No, that's why I'm asking. It's a dreamer orb. Jam packed with pure creative energy straight from the Imagosphere. But you'll need more of them if you're going to make it up there. You are Ooh, that looks scary. Stop Vex, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. But first, <laughs> you need to know about the dark, foul energy of nightmares we call the uproar. Ooh. Vex is planning to fill the whole of Craftworld with it. For now, he's using it to block the way to the top of the mountain so no one can interrupt him. Luckily, there is one thing that can counter that nasty stuff. And you're holding it. <laughs> the energy of pure wonder and creativity inside it will dispel Vex's barriers wherever you find them. So, seek out these orbs. They are the key to your journey. The there we go. The key to Sackboy's destiny is in the orbs. Next time we meet, I'll reveal great cosmic secrets. Maybe tell you a bit about myself, like my name, which is Scarlet, by the way, and more importantly, the truth about your very existence. <laughs> Love it. Very self-referential, very self-aware. And it's bringing back those from uh, Little Big Planet as well for your level completion things. So. Yay, I've got a gold trophy. So I've got a Sherpa coat. <laughs> there you go. So that's not quite 15 minutes but it's obviously the first level um, what I'm probably gonna do might just might just play a couple of minutes to the next level we'll see we'll see what it's like um, but again just to give you an idea this is how quick loading times are on the PS5 there you go I'm in the next level already um, sorry no I'm not I'm in the world map already um, but you know you kind of go around jump in there it's gonna Use my, my sphere to unlock the bridge. And then, presumably, that's the next level. So, head over there. Zom Zoms. Okay. Now, that was an impressively fast loading time, even though it's a cutscene. That's. Yeah, that's impressive. You've come to the right place for it. <laughs> I mean, any game that's got accents like that is a winner, right? Okay. Like a drug dealer. Gives you first one free. And then you've got to buy all the rest. Um, I can only apologise if there's noise on the uh, on the audio, guys. The um, it's one of the benefits to living close to an airfield. Of course, I say benefits. Um, let's buy that. Let's buy 
Um, zoom, zoom. So much choice. So inexpensive. So buy something. You've got to equip stuff as well. Okay, so that there is like you know degree of customization for Sackboy, which you can sort of you can sort of understand. It's you know it's a little big planet game. It's it's what it's for. Uh, it's what it's all about. So um, you know at its heart. So cool. That is uh, I think going to do me as I leave my Sackboy to look like a ridiculous punk rocker. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me, guys. If you've uh, if you enjoyed this, then uh, by all means, you know, drop us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel. I know a lot of people have been uh, over the past week or so. It's really appreciated. Um, you know, if you have friends that you think might like it as well, just um, you know, let them know because it's uh, it's always really appreciated and it does help us a lot. And um, particularly if you you know get on those uh, like and share buttons, um, it's yeah, it helps us out a lot and it helps us grow as a channel. So. Uh, Thank you very much, and we will see you guys next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.